All right, go. All right, this is titled Trumpet. Um, I use it every time I do a slide talk. I start off with this because when you do a slide talk, you're talking about yourself tooting your own horn. So that's why I do it. I've been using this since the early the 70s. Um, okay, next slide is night study. It's either crap. All right, this was done uh, when I was doing still lives. I'm, can you all hear me? Yes. Okay, when I was doing still lives, and um, I did a drawing first. I, I, I love to draw, and I like to do objective drawing rather than subjective drawing. Objective drawing is doing it as it is. Subjective drawing is being... Um, Expressive. All right, so uh, this was accepted in the Heckscher Museum show, and it sold. And I was very, uh, uh, I didn't, I was very unhappy to sell it because I liked it. <laughs> anyway, the next, <laughs> the next one is reflections. I started this uh, series, and I work in series until I kind of run out of, the string runs out, and then I try something else. And there are a few here that you will see. Okay, next slide. Do you work mainly in watercolors? See, this is, these are all watercolors. This is the artist studio. Uh, the Huntington Art League was having a show titled The Artist Studio, and um, I didn't know what to do, and I felt that wherever my palette is, that's my studio. And you can see the, uh, the idea of the flowers coming out from the palette and going onto the watercolor paper. That was my thought. Uh, the next one is a drawing for a pastel. And I'm sorry, I didn't leave this as the way it is. I like, I like it just the way it is. I'd rather, I wish I hadn't finished the piece. <laughs> so next slide. This is um, an abstract rubber plant painting. It's a small watercolor, 15 by 11 inches. And this is more subjective because I was drawing the rubber plant. I did a lot of drawings. And then from that, I was able to um, abstract the forms and, and colors and shapes of mine. Next, patterns. And this does not show well because it's overlapping on the uh, screen. Um, this was, this received a top award in a show in Nassau County many years ago from Paul Wood. And he liked it because it was very understated. As I said, it doesn't show well uh, because it's, a lot is left out. The next one is Old Friend, and I didn't, uh, the, uh, this was done, the original drawing was done in a class. Uh, the professor brought in the skull, and I thought it was so ugly, I didn't want to do it, so I, I did something else. So he brought it in the next week, and I still wouldn't do it. So he brought it in the third week. So I figured, well, maybe I ought to do it. But I saw the little bell on the, you can see it on the left antler. And I thought, well, maybe it was uh, someone's pet. So I did the, a line drawing, and I liked it enough so that I traced it onto watercolor paper and did the painting. Some people say it's reminiscent of George O'Keefe. I don't think so. This is not what she did. And I wasn't thinking about her at all. But it shows that even if you don't like a subject, you can get something out of it. All right, next slide is, uh, oh, see, this doesn't show completely either, unfortunately. What did I do? All right. Um, 
It's mid I'm sorry. It's mid I'm sorry. It's mid I'm sorry. Um, this, I thought, was... Um, <laughs> this, I, I thought, was bull in china shop. Anyway, this was my husband and I took a little um, cruise on a, uh, what is it, a three-hour cruise. Never came back. But I saw this rigging and I said, oh, wouldn't that make a great, great painting? And uh, I, so I used it as, used the p picture side as the basis for this painting. And I had, to, I, this was the start of a, of a series of boat paintings that I, call, that I lot, call a lot of them Dockside, which is the next one. And I feel that there's a very abstract quality to it because I'm not trying to make it a pretty little boat in the sunset or something like that. I like all the shapes and, and uh, lines of the piece. All right, next one. I can't even see this one. We can see from uh, here. Can you see it? Yes, from here. All right. It's called Poor Butterfly. If you see on the right hand side, there's a, an image of a butterfly in the fabric. And the reason I call it Poor Butterfly was because it, it um, the butterfly cannot fly free. It's trapped in the fabric. Next slide. Oh, incidentally, hold, um, this one won the Heckscher Museum Award, which was the top award in the Long Island show in 1986. They now own the painting. I donated it to the museum and they accepted it. And it's now in one of their shows that's on now until uh, next year. Uh, one of my favorite paintings. How large is this painting? Pardon me? How large? 22 by 30. Mm -hmm. That's a full, full sheet watercolor. Most of them are. The, the, um, um, the uh, old friend, same thing, 22 by 30. I like to work large with watercolor because I found that when you're working, um, you can leave an area that's wet and go on to another area. So you don't make a mess. Uh, okay, poor butter. Now, Lemon Reflections is a continuation of the Reflection series. The mirror is an old, you know, uh, the ladies here will understand, you know, the dressing table where you had the, th the mirror with the three sides. And I, I took that and used that as um, part of the image. I, I think it worked, the, the, the semicircle worked with the semicircle of the, um, of the pot or glass. And the next one is blue ribbon. Again, can't see the whole thing. And then I went to a different series from Still Life. And it's called The Dark Horse. A friend and I went down to Central Park um, Carousel and um, did drawings of the horses. And I found that the horses, especially in the Central Park uh, Carousel, are not happy little horses. They're very angry horses, as you can see. And I exaggerated their, their teeth and their mouths too. Um, emphasize that. They're, these are not um, pictures for children. These are not for children's rooms. Okay, oh boy, I better keep going. Okay, next. Dre this is called Dress to Kill. And then from these, I went to, la how much longer do I have? Two minutes. Okay, Core with, these are Core with Barnes and Snow. Everybody knows that. Next one is Roadscape, and that one 
an award at Guildhall Member Show. That's the only oil painting that I got an award for. And then there's a drawing, next one is drawing for Roadscape, which I like better somehow than the painting. It's more uh, serene. Deerfield Road Spring. Yesterday's gone. I titled that next one. Yesterday's gone because I took that picture and then I went back to t do some drawings and it was gone. And in its place were a couple of little McMansions. <laughs> Okay, and the end of summer is the next one. And the next one is at Lumber Lane, Liz's house. You can see that when you go down Lumber Lane, across the tracks, it's on the right. And then the red field is the final painting. You can't see all of it. And the one on the easel is the most recent painting I did for this year's Guildhall member show. And it took me 20 years to figure out how I wanted to. This is um, Wayne Scott Pond in winter. And it took me 20 years to figure out how I wanted to present that scene. Did I make it? I wish you had done that. <laughs> Any questions? I, I apologize for the speed, but... Molly, do you use photographs? Yes, I do. I use photographs, I do sketches, as you saw, the sketch of, uh, uh, of the uh, roadscape. And I go down and I sit and I look. Like Wayne Scott Pond, I, I went down a number of times, brought a cup of coffee, and just sit and look. The same thing with Deerfield Road. I would just look and look and try to envelop myself in the, the feeling of where I was and, and try to get that into me so I could express that in the painting. I don't know, some people think it's not right to use photographs, but nothing wrong with it. Have a, have a photo off painting competition to see who does the best. What's that? <laughs> they have a big photo walk. Photo walk. <laughs> okay, that's it. Thank you. Oh, yeah.